So over here, you can see that I have a video project and I've already set the in and out point. That is four in and out points are here. So what I want to do is let's save the project so that we can uh, work on this in the future. So in order to do that, I can go to file and then I can save the project right here. Once I do that, I'm just going to save the project onto the same folder as the video and this gets saved as a CSV file. So I'm just going to save this as tutatube lesson just like this and then I'm going to hit save. Once I do that, the project is saved. So I'm just going to close this out and open up lossless cut. And now let's load the project again and let's see how we can do that. So it's opening lossless cut as you can see. So uh, to load the project, you might do this directly. You might directly go to load project CSV, but it says you need to open a media file first. So you have to open the same video because while you save the project, it does not save separate video files, but it saves. Uh, only the time portion of that particular video file. So first of all, you need to open out the video file. And then once you open out the video file, you can see that the in and out point is lost. And to recover that, now you need to go to file and then go to load project. Once you do that, you select the CSV file that you saved, open that out, and then you get the same in and out points as you can see right there. And you can continue working with it. And that is how you can save and load projects inside of Lossless Cut. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.